Hi, I'm Diana Elizabeth Jordan at the theater, solo artist theater and filmmaker. I've written and I've written and, and performing in Happily Ever After, which is live streaming at the Hollywood Friends, directed by Paul Comp. So if you want to know about my show, go to Happily Ever After and click on the link. And if you want to know more about the Hollywood Friends, watch this video. When did I fall in love with theater? I am. Um, I believe I was born wanting to act. Um, I, I, I jokingly say I entered the world in dramatic fashion. Um, my disability is cerebral palsy, so I didn't breathe on my own for 45 minutes. The doctors were telling me for 45 minutes before I did breathing on my own, and that caused the this um cerebral palsy but let's just joke around that i ended the world in dramatic fashion but i did is this is something i've always known i wanted to do um my dad had an older sister who was an actress who died a year before i was born so i used to hear stories about her how wonderful she was what a great actress she was and i realized now that adult how recent her death would have been for my family, you know, growing, you know, if I was five, it would have been six years ago that my aunt died. And I realized for my grandmother, what, how painful that must have been. I didn't know it. I didn't think about it then, but I do now. But yeah, I just always don't I wanted to do it. And why do I have to be part of the theater world? Because I know it's what I meant to do. I can't imagine not being a part of the theater world. It's so creative. And it's different than the movie world. But I love about the theater world is you, you, you have to use your imagination. And you, you suspend your disbelief in, in this art anyway. You know, you believe when you see two people kiss on the movie that they married or we believe this is us as a family. We know they're after, but we suspend that disbelief. But I think in theater you do a tenfold. So you believe the tree you can believe there are trees on the empty stage. You know, you can believe a box as a rock on the empty stage and, and I love that. When did I fall in love with writing? I think I've always loved it as a form of expression. I, I remember as a little girl, I wrote a book called The Cat and the Dog. There was about a cat that had no friends and a dog that had no friends and they meet in the middle looking for a friend and they wind up becoming friends a little bit longer than that, but that's the long and the shorter bit. So I think it's always been a form of expression. For me, I don't know if I considered myself a writer until even though I wrote poetry in high school and I love to write creatively, it wasn't until I wrote this piece and I, I definitely had to define myself as a writer, even though I wrote, I wrote this piece and I've gotten really great feedback on this piece, but, um, that's a different, but, but again, if that opportunity to express myself and writing is another avenue for me to have to express myself to tell a story that may not have been told or to tell a story that has been told, but find the creative ways of the, 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 the human and universal element to the story that everyone can relate to, even if you and I may have different backgrounds, and I may have a different background, but hopefully there was a human element in this piece that everyone can relate to. That, that's what I hope. Why is the theater experience so unique? I, I think it's unique for the very reason that I said, up in, especially before COVID, and it changed that. COVID has changed the theater experience because we can gather in a, in a, in a together for a year, but, um, you know, it's a lot. It's, it's like in person, you're there. 
you hear people react and you hear you connect you know the, the connection you have and you have this live experience and um I think it was me both as an audience member when I go and see really amazing theater that just transports me somewhere else and as an actor it's the opportunity to take somebody on a journey that they are are share are share a story that they may not have thought about before or to share a story that they realize they relate to. So we get to share stories and um I, I, and it's fun to walk with the journey of somebody else. I mean, you know, I played a lot of different characters throughout my career that were different from me, but yet there was a relatable heart there. So um yeah, the, the journey of being in a live space and going through an experience together. And that's what I love about it. When I hear about the Hollywood Friends Festival, um, I've known about the Friends. I did the Friends with the uh, LA Women Theater. I was in a company um, probably about 2009, I think, but 2009 or 10. I, I was in a play with the LA Women Theater. I can't think of the name of it offhand right now. Um, so I've known about it. I've been to a couple of friends shows throughout the years. Um, then a few years ago, I, I applied for a diversity scholarship for a show I wanted to do. Um, and it, it, I didn't get it. So, um, I couldn't get the financing together. And then I was going to apply last year and last year <laughs> happened. Um, but yeah, there was something about, I just said this year, I think you can write a piece and you write it and you work on it. And then at some point you had to put it out there. You know, at some point you had to say, okay, I worked on it, I can develop it. But it, it, it's kind of like a baby or a child. You at one point had to say, okay, am I going to keep the kid at home forever or am I going to let it go and see what happens? And I felt that happily ever after with the piece that was ready to to go and to fly and just see I was able to, ready to let this baby go. I heard about theater time when I was working through venue. The Mac Quinn is so awesome and um we had a couple meetings and the space um I was looking at several spaces that this is really important for me being an ADA compliance space. And even though I'm working, I'm doing my, my show will be live streaming from the um the member theater which is in the um Los Angeles um Los LGBT Center. However, Matt was so great and Matt that was we do the you know PR program and it's been so great to be a part of it and I've gotten so many opportunities and I've learned so much about the business side of doing this because there are two sides there's the performer side and then there's the producer side and I've had to wear two hats the entire time and each hat are equally important but require a very different part of your brain space to work and I think what's been great about that is I've learned a lot about producing by being part of that and, and delegating it and all the things that usually as an actor I just think about the act and that's all I have to do as a producer I have to think about so many more things. A few years ago, I took a storytelling um, workshop, and it was with Tanya Taylor Rubenstein, who was out of New Mexico, she's wonderful. And I took a workshop, honestly, to learn how to be a facilitator, because I love facilitating storytelling. And this was more of a workshop, not performance-based, but just to have the experience of storytelling 
Well, I wrote about a 10 minute piece. It was part of that, you know, this workshop we treat. Um, but I wrote about a 10 minute piece as part of the process. And then I put it away for a while. I've been taking a drama therapy class and I kind of pulled it out again and made it much more of a fairy tale fantasy. And then over the years, and I began to really develop myself as a solo artist and really realize how much I love being doing solo work. And, and I, I have a couple of solo plays to my credit. Um, this is going to be it, the smaller version that we're going to be a part of another piece I'd like to do called Climbing the Crystal Staircase, which is a different piece about resiliency. But I began to realize that this is a standalone piece. This is not a this is a piece that is a show in and of itself. And so um, that journey out, that's how that journey began. I said, oh, and actually, the, the meaning of what it meant, and I, I don't like to give the twist away at the end, but the meaning changed and became much more powerful for me. I went, oh, this is what this show is about. This is the message I want to give. And that was a journey of itself. I, I, I wouldn't say when I started it, that was the answer. But when I began, when I got to this point where I am now, I go, oh, this is the message. This is the story I'm going to tell. A story about um, a woman who grew up, she loved fairy tales. I love, I loved fairy tales growing up as a kid, and um, I used to read fairy tales all the time. And I really believe like the fairy tale princesses in the books I used to read. That I too would grow up and be a great guy and was happily ever after, and that would be it. And what I found was. Um, because I didn't have a magic mirror or a very godmother, my journey to find um, my true love has was um, it's been an interesting journey of twists and turns and challenging. So that's basically the beginning. And the beginning of the story is the thing out with um, you know, I used to love to read fairy tales, and I I thought that that I thought. But they made it made life seem so simple. You just meet a guy, get married, and you live happily ever after. And that's what I thought was when I was younger. That that's what I envisioned for myself. Why did I want to have this production at the Hollywood Film Festival? I think because it's such a great when I'm finding it's a great community of artists. I'm having so much fun meeting and connecting with other artists and, and community is really important to me. Um, and I, I think it was a place where it, it allowed me to get the, it allowed me to get the experience of producing as opposed to just going to a theater and say, hey, I'm going to put up my solo show. That, that there's so much built in support for me as a first time producer that that the the staff and the community is I understand why they all have friendships now because I, I feel I've met these wonderful friends, other artists that he can count on and, and depend on as a question too and also be supportive of their work. You know, I'm so excited to see um some of the other solo shows and other plays that are um, in this room that I can't wait. And that I'm, I think I'm something more excited about the other plays than I am about my own. What do I want the audience to get out of my, my play? But, um, the power of compassion and love. That how important love and compassion are. That's really the people to who everyone. That uh, loving compassion, loving ourselves, loving others is very important. And that's what I hope people walk away with when they see my show.
I think people come to my show at the Hollywood Fringe because I worked really hard and I was like, you need to come see it. But seriously, I think, I thought you referred to it as a stage show. I thought you referred to it as a stage show. I thought you referred to it as a stage show. I thought you referred to it as a stage show. I thought you referred to it as a stage show. I think that there are, even though it's very personal, I believe I have the universe of themes that are very relatable. Um, my mom made a really beautiful costume, so you get to see how, what a great artist my mom is. But hopefully it's fun. It's an hour, it's an hour, it's an hour show with the top back. Um, I, I've been told by other people, can it, you laugh, you cry, you feel good. I, 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 I think it's a feel good hit. It's a feel, I don't want to use the word hit. It's a feel good show. I think it's a really feel good show. And I think if you're just looking for an hour and then there's a top bag afterwards, but if you're just looking for an hour to come and feel good and just come out with this, oh yeah, like life. <laughs> I think I, I think my show can provide that need for you. You know, this would be really interesting because I'm live streaming only and so this is going to be a really interesting process. Um, so what am I looking for? Then what am What am I looking for? At the friend. Um, I'm just looking at the artist to be committed to to people that are going to come see the show, and therefore I want to give them a product, a, a a show that that they don't. You know, I never want anyone to feel. Oh, why did I? Spend my money on this. Why, you know, why did I come to this? And my job as an artist is to tell a really beautiful story every night and to give every single night show up on my A game. So, you know, I can't show up on my A game Sunday, then Thursday, say, oh, I'm tired. I have to be on my A game every single night. And every single night, it's a new audience. And so I just want to be on my a game connected emotionally connected and give everyone a performance they'll be very glad that they got the ticket i i want people to be glad that they came and that's important for me I, you know that i don't want people to be like oh god i can't believe it or that money on this or you know i really want people to feel good and be really glad they came and the hour and they on top of with Diana. So that's my job. Why do people go see the Fringe Festival? Um, number one, there's going to be some amazing shows. I know because I've been seeing previews. I've talked to some of the artists in the shows. Some um, Theo um, Forsberg to Holly, who's name I can't think of, to Lorinda. Um, this is going to be a great improv show. They're going to be my friend Leigh Leather who's doing improv. Um, um, and I, sorry, I'm plugging these shows and all the names are escaping me. But it's just a great way. There's going to be so much great work to see. We're finally allowed to go back out, you know, put on your mask, take your card, and Go see some really good theater. If you love really good theater, if you want to be entertained, if you want to make moves, if you want to learn, the friends will have something for everyone. And there's so much, and I know, because I've been hanging out with the amazing, incredible artists, you know, um, who are now my friends, and, and there's so much people work to see. So go, go see it. Go see it. Yeah, you know, and some will be virtual, so be, you're a little bit nervous about going out, you know, with some will be live streams, so you can like, you can see Peter in your own home. Why is a Hollywood friend so important? So I think now more than ever we need community. I think now more than ever we need to, you know, we, we spent this, almost a year and a half of this and so much divisiveness and, and I think we need to continue to heal after a very difficult you know, year and a half. I mean, you know, with the insurrection and, and Black Lives Matter and 
and the tragic death of George Floyd last year, and, and I think we're having a beautiful awakening. We're, we're learning so much more. We're becoming more aware of the untold stories, like Juneteenth. Finally, yes, finally a holiday. That's wonderful. And I think that theater, theater is a connector, and, and I think the community of the Hollywood Friends is an example of diverse people and artists coming together to create community. Um, go everywhere. There's so many diverse artists in this community. So many diverse in terms of their intersectionality. And that's what I think we need. And I think we need examples of, examples of how, you know, our, our diversity made us stronger. Our intersectionality and what we bring made us stronger. And why not celebrate that? But happily ever after, if you go to the website, it's happily ever after Diana even with Jordan. Sunday and Thursday, the fifth Sunday, August 15th. Thursday, August 19th. Sunday, August 22nd. And Thursday, August 26th. It's a fun show. I, I really want, I really wanted you to come and have a really good time. And I'm online, so you can watch it any day. You can come to my show and you don't have to wear pants. How about that? Other shows, you have to wear pants. And you should go see other shows and wear pants. But you don't have to wear pants if you come to my show. And that's how it's a plus. That going to be my new promo. Come to my show. You don't even have to wear pants. That's that gonna be my new um my 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 new re my new trailer. Come to my show. You don't have to wear pants. But seriously, see the see other shows. Go on the theater. There's so many wonderful shows. Take some time. Support great art and let great art support you. And you're gonna find that at the fringe.